We're doing circle theorems together and uh, so far we have done one, angles at the center of a circle. And a requirement for that circle theorem is, is that uh, the lines go through the center of a circle. Eh? So very quickly, make sure you've seen this video. Uh, otherwise go to my site, eh? explainingmaths.com, where you'll find all my resources. But angles at the center of the, of the circle, which is the arrow, you have a radius and a radius, and they meet somewhere else in the circumference, and then that angle is half the size as the angle at the center of the circle. Okay, now that is important also to understand angles in the same segment. Okay, so you need to have that understanding of the first uh, theorem to understand this. Angles in the same segment. Okay, what am I going to do now? I'm just going to, in uh, using a pencil, going to create angles at the center of a circle. So, why with a pencil? Because I'm going to erase some of it in a minute. Uh, in a minute. So let's say uh, I have a radius and a radius, and they meet somewhere else. Let's say there. Okay, uh, but they also meet, uh, for instance, over there. Okay. So if this angle is 2x, that makes that angle x, but that angle also x. Okay, so they are equal anyway. All right, now I'm going to erase those two radii. Yeah, because this is not angles. Um, at the center of the circle. We're not looking for the arrow. This is angles in the same segment. Good. I've created what I wanted to create. I've, I've shown you basically that those angles are the same because of the first circle theorem. But we're not looking for an arrow, no. We are looking for this type of circle theorem for yeah, a bow tie. There we go. Do you see that that's a bow tie? You know what a bow tie is? A bow tie. Okay, when you go to a party. Yeah? And then I have just shown you, because of that first circle theorem, that this angle is the same as that angle. Okay? And something is going to happen with these angles as well. What do you think? Yeah? Because they are vertically opposite, so they are equal. That means that this angle is the same as that angle. Okay. Now, it doesn't go through the center of the circle, as you can see. Yeah, it could, but it's not a requirement for this circle theorem. Yeah, and usually, yeah, so whenever you see a situation like this and it doesn't go through the center of a circle, forget looking at the circle theorem angles in the center of a circle, but you're looking at one of the other two, yeah, either angles in the same segment or a cyclic quadrilateral. But because it's a bow tie, it is angles in the same segment. And you already know now that these angles are the same and those angles are the same. Yeah, and how can you, because do I have to construct this every time? No, I don't. Let me just give it some letters, yeah? So how can you use this in practical situations then when you're solving these questions? I can say that angle A, D, B, yeah, so A, D, B, that's this angle, is the same as A, C, B. You agree with that, A, C, B? So as long as those first letters and those last letters are the same, angles in the same segment, then the angles there in the middle at point D and at point C are equal. I can also say that C A D, C A D, that's this angle, is the same as C B D. Because the first letters are the same, the last letters are the same, so the angles there at the in the middle, A and B, are equal. But yeah, I already saw that, I already knew that. Why? Because of that first circle um, theorem property, angles at the center of a circle, yeah? So you use that actually to, to uh, find the angles for the second circle theorem, which is angles in the same segment. And that's the one you apply when you see a bow tie, which does not go through the center usually, okay? As long as those last letters and those first letters are the same, then the angle in, at the middle, at point A and B, they will be equal. Okay, hopefully that was useful, otherwise let me know on my site, explainingmaps.com, and I will uh, make some more videos to you, and like and share this if it was useful. We're moving on now to the next one, circle theorem that doesn't go through the center, which is the cyclic quadrilateral, and I'm from Holland and I love cycling, so I hope to see you there. Bye-bye.